Hey, what's up, guys? David Glenn of DavidGlennRecording.com and TheProAudioFiles.com coming at you with another video on automating harmonies. Now, I'm a big believer that if you're going to be in the studio, you're a part of the writing, you're a recording engineer, co producing, producing, what have you, um, record your harmonies in the studio. Write them out, prepare for them, track them well, uh, maybe use a different mic for your harmonies, all kinds of stuff you can do in the studio to get them right. Um, in this situation, for this tip, what I'm going to talk to you about is a situation where I didn't have the luxury of recording the, the harmonies, which is something we thought of after the artist had already left, and um, we just wanted a couple of quick harmonies. So we went to the digital route, and we generated them through Isotope's Nectar 2 in the mix process. Um, you may be familiar with Melodyne, by all means, if you got a couple um, you know, lines that you want to pull in, Melodyne, switch them around, randomize the timing, that kind of thing. That's great also, that works. Um, but I was really impressed when I tried this out with Nectar um, and I didn't feel like I needed to use Melodyne. I actually feel like I got maybe even better results using Nectar and I uh, wanted to give that a shot for you guys, show you what I did. So in this mix, the song is called Just You and Me. Uh, it's from the artist Pablo featuring Blanca and uh, I'm going to hit play and um, and then show you what I did. So I'm loving what it gave to the uh, to the track. We uh, we did not track the harmony live, so it was a quick fix. So let me walk you through real quick. Isotope Nectar 2, you can see I've only got the harmony module engaged, and I've got the master bypass um, set to be automated. Um, you can see I've got my plugins, my chain here for her vocal, and then Nectar at the end, and that's going to be what I'm master uh, using the master bypass for. So... As simple as this, let's pull this in. First, let me show you um, on Pro Tools, you can um, hold all three modifier keys. That's your control, option, and command. And you can click any parameter pretty much and enable or disable the automation. Now, I've already enabled that, so it's there. But then the next thing you can do, if you pull this down, you'll take a look. Um, show you guys, let's say I'm in waveform view and I've got this plugin open. I can hold control and command and click on pretty much any parameter and it will snap to that automation lane. So now you can see I've got my master bypass right there, ready for me to get to work. Um, moving on, let's show you Nectar 2. I've got the Harmony engine enabled. Let's pull this in. I've simply gone with a third. I wanted just a, a third up. I wanted to hear it nice and tight underneath the lead vocal. I didn't want it to be too distracting. I didn't want it to be coming in uh, big and wide, like doubled and tripled and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but give it a shot, man. Use this for doubling vocals. Use it for... Um, multiple harmonies for effects. Uh, I like to use this now. I'm actually using this um, to where I'll print the harmony. I'll solo it. I'm in Pro Tools 11, so then I'll actually highlight the section. I'll bounce the soloed harmony um, and import it back in. Logic guys have had that for a little while. And then treat it differently than the lead vocal. So mix it in and, and um, get kind of crazy with it. This is really quick. This mix isn't quite done yet. I may still do that. But um, in the base, very basic form, you can just see um, that it's it's a great option. And if you like the way it sounded, man, use it for yourself. Let me come over here. I think if I remember correctly, I had this set to C major. Uh, for some reason, that's not showing up on on there for us now. But um, the obviously, you want to set the key. You want to select the voices that you want. And then Nectar 2 has some pretty cool options. Over here, um, something to differentiate the... Let me say it like this. When you're creating a harmony digitally, you're taking a, um, in this case, I'm taking the lead vocal, and that harmony is being created by the lead vocal itself. Well, naturally, when you're in the studio and you record that, when you have an artist or a singer that's going to double or record the harmony, they're going to sing it slightly different. Pitch um, is not going to be perfect. The timing is not going to be perfect. And while we have vocal line and other things to kind of make it more perfect or perfect, um, I like harmonies to be a little loose and to be a little bit more natural sounding. 
So the cool thing about Nectar is you've got the pitch correction option here. The lead vocal was Melodyne, um, and I'm running on about this, but the pitch correction, what it will do is it will even tighten that harmony so that it gives it a different character, a different sound than the lead vocal that it's being generated by. Um, and then the cool thing about this plugin, let me see, I think if I remember correctly, I've got this one set at like 50 or so, but you can generate a little bit of a different timing. So that's gonna slide it forward or backward in time. It's gonna vary at that. Um, and then the pitch. Now, I think if I remember correctly, I did a decent amount of pitch shift to this one. Um, and let's see, let's hear what that sounds like. Make me hold on, hold on. Yeah, very cool. Uh, to go over it real quick. The um, the option I was talking about earlier, what you could do is solo those voices. So I could come in here and actually solo the bridge. Um, come in here, zoom in. Let's say if I selected that part right there, you can in Pro Tools set this out to a bus, we'll call it, um, we'll call it 55. I could right click bounce bus 55, it'll bounce that selection, and then what it'll give you is this menu over here. This menu will give you the option to import after bounce. Probably don't need an MP3, mono is cool, wave, make sure your settings are similar. What I'm doing is I'm naming this, um, whenever I process files in Pro Tools, I would say, um, let's see, this is Blanca Harm uh, B and C1, B and C for bounce. And I would do offline, I would hit bounce. There it is. This menu will pop up, new track, absolutely. And if I triple click, hit cut, tab to transient, and let's say paste it here. There you go, there's my harmony back in the song, ready for me to do whatever it's doing. Now in this case, I left the processing on, I probably wouldn't do that if I was, um, bouncing this out and creating it, but let's solo it, see how it did. Hold on, hold on. And there you go. So man, a couple quick tips on how to use Isotope Nectar 2, and then even more so conceptually, how to add harmonies to your mix whenever you're at the mixing process, kind of the last steps. And I hope you guys are learning something from that. So we'll catch you on the next one.